is being responsible for what you do. See, being a man ain't about having babies. Anybody can have a baby. I just have to go to the bar room on Friday nights. And use, find, to find my father, who was usually drunk. And I would have to try and take 10 to $20 out of his pocket to bring home to my mother, because if I didn't get to my dad before he spent it all on liquor, my mother would have got nothing. A man takes care of his family. I'm enjoying this year. I mean, even though it doesn't look like it a lot of times, I am really enjoying this year. I'm enjoying the kids and the challenges, and there are a lot of challenges. I I've got to deal with that, and I've got to, I've got to live with that, and I've got to, at some point in time, probably accept it, and I haven't totally yet. When we stand around, you guys think you're nice, and you go one-on-one, -on -one. you suck. You suck. But when you play five on five and you move the ball and you screen and you got people moving, you're good. You're very good. The kids are so fragile. The teams are, I mean, they're really fragile that things can change like in a minute. One game can turn a whole season around. As high as the team can go, they can go that low. And Wake Forest takes the lead. Sets up Howard, drives baseline, pull up, no good. Put back by Sunday. Oh, look out! Oh. Ahead to Howard. Howard for the jam. A 14 0 run by the Demon Deacons. No matter what defense we win, you should know what we're playing and do it to the best of your ability. If you're tired, come out the game. I want to hear that this don't work. Everything works if you work hard. Work hard. You tired, come out the game. Let me just say this, Jarman. If you hear anybody say anything doesn't work, we're getting rid of their ass. We're getting rid of them. They ain't gonna be on this team. You hear me? Because everything we do will work if they would make it work. I can't make laps for you guys. I can't make free throws for you guys. I can't make passes for you guys. All we can do is what we do every game is put you in a position to win. That's up to you to finish it off. And if you want excuses, you get out of this program, period. I don't want you here. If I tell you to go out there naked, that works. You do it, and you do it right. Look up at the board and keep your eyes on the board. Excuse me? I'm looking at the board. Look, keep your eyes on the board, not at your feet. We are. St. John. John. We need everybody. Let's go, everybody. Alpha. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Alpha, come here. Quickly. Everybody else out there. Alpha, come here. Alpha, come here. You bring him here. Let me tell you something. Guys, step out. Everybody out. Everybody out. Why do you think I'm spending so much time concentrating on you at halftime? Why do you think, Alpha? Tell me why you think, because I'm picking on you? What could be positive about me trying to make sure you're paying attention to everything? What? The day, the day when I don't talk to you, it's over. It's over. Inside, left hand delivery. Get it to half with six fires in there. Deep three. Oh, you baby! My goodness, he was from Seventh Avenue. Hatton firing, scoring. He hit another one. Marcus Hatton is smoking. Hatton with his third steal. Cut. Shooting for him with the reverse. And St. John's has a ten-point lead. What a tremendous win for St. John's. I didn't see him score either, but he won Lotto. The people that got him today, they were scared of him. For what reason, I don't know, because he's soft as cake, man. I know, don't believe that. Oh, Keith! Sift me up bench. I lead by example as far as they see what I can do, and then they just want to take my lead and just, and just follow me, you know? And they were here like, lions! Tigers! And there! Oh, my! CHP, Chapel Hill Projects Finals, you know, 
That's where I grew up at. That's where it started off for me playing basketball and all that. And then right here, I got my mother, you know, because I love her, you know what I'm saying? And then this is just my first tattoo, I mean, so that just say more. I mean, they called me that after my father, you know, he was a ball player too. They say he was good, but um, I ain't never seen him play though. You can't just go out there and try to be a one man wrecking crew because you'll lose like that. You got to use your team, and then you got to know when it's your time to take over. And eight times out of 10 times, something's good going to happen when I had a ball with the last two minutes. There's 28 seconds left in the game. We have the ball. Guess what we're going to do? 13 to go. Hatton moving to the left elbow. Fade away, jump shot. Good! And St. Charles wins the ball game. A couple months ago, came to my office and said, Coach, he said, you know, did you ever consider kicking me out of practice? Why don't you kick me out of practice? No, it's true. And you're full <laughs> Why don't you, seriously, why don't you kick me out of practice? Because if I'm not working hard enough, kick me out of practice. The message I got from that was, Coach, you got to be harder on me. <laughs> that's what the great ones say. And that's what they mean, and that's what they do. You got to be harder on me, not easier on me because I'm the best. I want to be better. And that's what we all have to do. Uh, it's a very special Christmas. I'd just like to thank God for all the blessings that he's bestowed upon us. May the food that we eat give us the strength to continue to do the work that we were sent here to do. And a special prayer, a uh, special thank you for the person that prepared the food. Uh, as always, a wonderful meal. And uh, family, it's great to, great to be here. Amen. Let's work, fellas. Let's work. Time to work. Time to work. Come on, Anthony. They're with him. Here we go. Alpha, have a seat up top. I'll see you after practice. I'm different. And it's always been like that wherever I go. I'm just the type of person, I'm not afraid to be me. I've always just been the type of player that I need to be able to just be creative. I'm not a role player. I don't feel like I'm a role player, you know what I'm saying? I know I have the ability to be, to be great, you know? And some people may be satisfied with or content with that, but I'm not. Alpha, let's knock it. You caught, right, the ball was swung. You caught the ball. If you attacked here, you might have had that or him. You want to get him the ball, attack, and then you can get him the ball. But in the meantime, you may have something on the attack. You're not ball faking, you're attacking on that. Alfred right. has great physical gifts. It's not about the physical gifts. It's about taking those gifts and using them. And it's about really, like, really becoming a student of the game and finding a way to do what's expected of you so you can also do what you do. All right, I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to leave it here. See, one of the reasons why you don't pass the ball more is because your head and eyes don't see people. Now, the casual observer, and myself included sometime, OK, and now I'm starting to believe it's not because you're, you're a hog. It's because you don't see people. Anybody that watched you play, including your opposition, is going to think that you don't want to pass it. So you got to start to see the whole floor. And the only way you're going to do that is if you see the rim and everything out from there. Attack Alpha. Now, good. There you go. That's the way to play basketball. Red, red it's a challenge red. because he is so talented. So I'm not going to give up on him. Um, I hope he doesn't give up on himself or his team. I'm hoping and praying that Alpha gets it. I moved from Calendar Street to Howard Street to River Street, and that's where the bedrooms were upstairs, and my bedroom was actually up top where this owl is. And my sweetheart, future wife, her bedroom was right there, so we would actually be able to talk out the windows to each other. I want you to imagine it's 1956. 
There used to be bleachers along here where all the guys in the neighborhood, would, the older people would be out gambling, you know, throwing dice and playing cards. And at night, you know, everybody would sit out here and tell lies and stories. And then they'd play, then, we'd, then the basketball courts were on the other side of the bleachers, and those are the courts. And right there was the last house that my dad lived in. He actually died in that house. My dad was a great guy. I mean, great personality, charming personality. Um, and he had great taste, so he somehow convinced my mother to marry him. Um, but my dad wasn't, he wasn't a guy that, uh, took care of his responsibilities. So my mom basically <clears throat> got to bring up the family. But he was a great guy. Yeah, I still love him, even though you know he's gone, been gone for a while. Uh, but he put a tremendous burden on my mom. My mom told me it's okay for Gorman to cry, so anyhow, yeah, that's that. But uh, we'll get we'll get back to that. Alpha, we're attacking the basket. this team. Right now, you're being awfully selfish. If I put your ass back in, you better get it done. Right now, you're being very, very selfish. You hear me? You gotta run the team. You gotta be strong. Come on, Baltimore. Yeah, he's ducking, he's looking, he's looking over his shoulder, trying to find him. Oh, nice feed. Keita with the flush. Pitches it out for Cuff. Cuff starts to drive, fires underneath the hat, who beats his man and slams it home. Hatton took it away. They got a man ahead of the pack, Bangura, going up. There's 320 plus teams in America in Division I. 320 plus teams in America. You're in the top 10%. You're 12 and 4. You're 3 and 0 against three ranked teams, one of them tonight on the road. And you don't even want to believe you're any damn good. That's what, that's, that's what amazes me. And I want to thank you, Donald, for doing something tonight that I've been waiting for someone to do. And whether you like it or not, Donald said, get Eric out of there. Because you allowed yourself something that I didn't think I'd see, but I'm glad I saw it. So now I'm going to kick your ass even more. You allowed yourself to get ahead of the team. You told me this is your family, right? You told me you love your family, right? Well, listen to them, because they love you. And don't ever put yourself ahead of us like you did tonight. Season, St. John's, part two. Give me a ring. I want to catch up to you. And want you and Coach to get together. Talk to you later. If you quit, you would forfeit your scholarship. That's three years of my life just wasted. And I'm not even, I'm not going to hold anything back. I don't think there's nobody on this team that's more talented than me. When I weighed all my options about the schools I wanted to go to, my main, I, the, the thing that made me say I was coming here more than anything else was that I wanted to play for you. If we were, let's say we were in Coney Island, and somebody came, and you were with two or three of your buddies, and somebody came and they jumped one of your buddies, what would you do? You'd help them, right? That's what you're supposed to do on a basketball court. If one of your teammates is in trouble, getting his ass kicked by a double team, that's what you guys do sometimes. You just stand there and watch your friends get their ass kicked. Friends don't do that. You help them. You help them.
You don't want to win, Glove. You don't want to win anymore. You would have took a charge, Glover. You would have led. You would have taken a charge there. If you don't come to box out Wednesday night, we're going to get our asses whipped in Madison Square Garden. And you know what we could say to the NCAA? Goodbye. Previously on the season, St. John's Part 1. Let me tell you something, guys. If you got the balls to give me an excuse this year that you were late, all you have to do is just turn around and look at this young man. And he's not on scholarship. Not yet. You gotta run the team! You gotta be strong! Come on, Baltimore! You know what, Donnie? I'm gonna be one of the last people that's gonna give a rat's ass about you. Whether you want to believe that or not, I'm going to be one of the last people that care about what you become. We are St. John. John. We need everybody. Let's go, everybody. Alpha. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Alpha, come here. I'm not a role player. I don't feel like I'm a role player. You know what I'm saying? Guys, step out. Everybody out. Everybody out. Some people may be content with that, but I'm not. It's the purest approach to the game is that you come to the ballpark as a member of the team ready to play. I want you to play basketball. Just play basketball. What a tremendous win for St. John's. These guys don't believe they can beat you, because they don't. They don't never beat us in a big game. All right? Come on, let's go. Let's go. another top 25 team. So now everybody's going to be saying, oh, man, St. John's is a little better than I thought. The guy who sent me an email today and that said, other than Marcus Hatton, I should get rid of all you guys because you can't shoot and you can't play and you stink. And I wrote him back and I said, sir, maybe we can't shoot, but we will and we can play. And the reason why I sent it back today before I left my office was because I want his ass to have it in the morning when he opens up his emails. And then I want to see if he's man enough to write me back and say, you know, I was wrong. You got, you got some players, coach. You got a winning team, coach. And Donald, I almost wish the season was ending because if it was ending, I would almost say, I'm going to miss you. But it ain't ending, so I still got time. I, in the beginning I, of the season, I just went along and did what I, I had to do. Not saying that I didn't try, but, you know, I just was like, I was content. I guess that's the perfect word. I was, I was actually content with what was going on, but I'm not so content anymore. Because if there's anybody in this gym, Donald, that, that should have a chance of playing somewhere next year and make money, even if it's overseas, it's you. My quid pro quo is on um, lobbyists and politicians today. I've always known that I've had school to come back to the next year. Now it's a different situation. I'll be graduating, and I mean, who knows? <laughs> I mean, it, it's real life now. Really, really good. Yeah, nicely done. Oh, good. Nice eye contact and everything over there. Sheree, because of the kind of basketball player you have shown yourself to be. I've just scratched the surface as far as basketball goes. Hopefully, I can continue to do that because that's been my first love. A player's desire to play overseas in CBA, ABA, UABL, etc.
Jackson, left side, Pat throws it left side of Manuel. Head face goes straight down the lane, running scoop, good, and a foul. Fordham spin moves in the lane, kick out, set up the 6'9 guy for the three. <laughs> Here's Pat down the lane. Perfect free throw shooter down low to the ground. Oh. And a foul. This season is only going to be here for a little bit longer, guys. The 2001 2002 season is going to be over. Even if you win national championship, it's going to be over the first week in April. And when this season's over, we ain't never, ever, ever going to get it back. And I don't want to see us piss it away. We're too good, and I think we got too much going for us to piss it away. We're this close, but as we know, when you're this close, you're also that far away. These are the kinds of games that, if we're gonna really be good, which I think we are, you go out and you don't just win, you go out and you dominate. You go out and you play great basketball and you continue to play unselfish basketball, and you continue to play as a team that wants to be a great team. Here's a giveaway. Two on one. Good separation, and he looks scores. Why is he in 50? You guys have got to talk. You guys have got to talk. It's like I used to have a dog by the name of Bunky. And I remember Bunky going out in the backyard one day and he was digging a hole to bury a bone. And I remember he dug the hole so deep that he put the bone in the hole and he couldn't get out the hole. And my brother said, we got to help Bunky out. And my other brother said, Bunky got himself in, he'll get himself out. And eventually Bunky got out the hole. And that's basically what was happening today, except we didn't get out the hole. You guys are driving me freaking crazy. I can't go into a press conference after a game like Saturday and say anything. I got to talk about a dog, my dog Bunky, who died. Stuff that, you know, people look at me and think I'm crazy. The only reason I talk sometime like that and talk about things that are totally off the wall is because, you know what, I got to do something to try and maintain my sanity. Are you the coach? I don't know. If I'm What's your name, sweetheart? I'm Martha. What's your name? My name is Mike. Mike. Eminem. Peanut and Plain. Amen. <laughs> you get it? Man, I didn't know Barbara Streisand was a real singer. I thought they was just playing. Start spreading the news. Mike and I have known each other for about 17 years, and uh, um, it's been a lot more than just sort of going to games and uh, and watching teams grow and come and go. Our relationship has been about what things can we do as men that can transfer to younger people some of the steps along the way that can be helpful. For men, life is about father-son issues. Whether you have a father, you didn't have a father, he was a good guy, he was not a good guy. But all of us coming along are always looking for that father figure. Now, the most important reason I can tell you for listening to John and me is that the things that we're going to talk about are going to make you a better person inside because they're going to hopefully help you understand that most of the validation that we seek from the outside in the world is going to come from within here, not from outside somewhere else. So it's just going to make you better, more successful, happier, more fulfilled men. 
I mentioned this to Kyle the other day, and I've said this a thousand times. Um, this is a, we are a family, okay? And you do not take family matters, okay, to, to the outside world. You do not talk about family things to anyone outside of this team. And that particularly applies to the press. So they got people right now, Kyle, thinking that you're a complainer, that you're, you know, basically a guy that's, you know, a little selfish. Don't let the press use you, okay? Because all they would like to write about, if they could, is if they thought that there was a problem. Let's go again. Come on, Kyle. Don't, Kyle, 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 why, why this look? Coach said foul. End of the story. Well, don't give the look. Here we go. Hold up. What the hell was that? You don't want to win. You don't friggin' want to win. You don't want to win, Glove. See, when you when you were really tough, like when you were younger and you were hungrier, so you're, you're, you're getting comfortable now, you're getting fat mentally, you don't want to win anymore. You would have took a charge, Glover. You would have led. You would have taken a charge there. Painful. This is the trying part. This is about life, and it's about how you deal with life. It's about the choices you make. It's just another very important time in the life of not only a team, but young men trying to become men. I mean, this is real. Okay, 30 minutes late, run until I tell you to stop. There are kids that, that from the time that they start to bounce a ball, there are people trying to suck off them, trying to buy them with Nikes putting crap in their heads, telling them how wonderful they are, that all they have to do is play basketball. I can't get soft on them. I gotta teach them how to cope with all this crap. I gotta teach myself, and I'm trying to teach myself every day. I've gotta get better, and maybe be a little bit kinder, and a little bit more gentle if I can find those times. Hold up, hold up, Alpha, will you come on? It's bad enough you come late, but now don't be late. I'm talking, my man. But it's so difficult to do that, because the real world that they, they're gonna go into for the rest of their lives, in most cases, waiting to eat them up. Eat them up. Spit them out. Hello, shot, boss. Good, Andre. Take